So? Anything? Well, the police gallants have been investigating the spot where Beth Blagan's house blew up, and when they went to discover her, she disappeared. So you're saying that Bubblegum is still alive? I think so. However, the situation isn't over yet. James said he is plotting to commit another crime, and if we don't prevent that from happening, it's too late, so we have to act quickly. Look, will you only tell me where you're taking- Silence. We're going inside for a talk. Come on. Alright, so. Do you want to know the reason why I sent you here? No. Alright, listen. You've been tearing down James's life long enough, and this time we finally want to get our hands on you. That's nonsense. I have nothing to do with James. You did. You did and you escaped from our clutches when we send your house flying into- Declan, don't you understand that James only faked my death just so my friends and the police would believe I'm dead when I'm not? Exactly. And this time you are really going to get your comeuppance, and if you get away from us again, not only we will kill your friends, but also everybody else in this stinking town. So? Did you guys calm down after the incident? Yeah, just a bit. I mean, we're still shocked that one of our favorite cartoon channels has been hacked, and I don't know why this has happened. What kind of people have to pull these stupid pranks by threatening to destroy Cast Bush? Whoever committed that crime should better be arrested and get locked up in jail for years for this. Totally, but I'm also scared that Animals Lane could be destroyed too if we see a bunch of bombs being placed all over the settlement. Besides, there's no way we would ever see that happening. Guys, calm down. No matter what that man said, we should probably not listen to him. He's just an evil criminal. Totally! I mean, I just don't understand. Why would James kidnap Bubblegum in her own home and then blow it up? It was his fault for killing my wife. Fred, listen, Bubblegum is not dead. I just spoke to Finn and he said that James faked Bubblegum's death just so we won't know about it. Then where exactly has James's henchman taken Bubblegum? Look, I don't know. I'm concerned that this situation would get even worse, and we don't know what's gonna happen next. Think about it guys. Remember what happened when James faked Bemo's death? I've been going through heck until I realized that Bemo is still alive. I mean, what's next? Guys we need to talk. Heather has been kidnapped. What? How come we haven't been told about this before? Please don't tell me James kidnapped Heather. Listen, it wasn't James who did that. It was Mason. I heard Heather screaming, and then getting confronted by him who claims he kidnapped her. In addition, I discovered an underground entrance downtown, and when I went inside, I realized that the door is locked, and I saw Heather locked up in a cage. So did the police say anything about Heather yet? Well no, but I'm scared that I might lose her. If Mason kills Heather, I'm dead. Mia, haven't you spoken with Natasha yet? No, why? What happened again? Natasha just told me that Guy's girlfriend has been kidnapped. What? How did that happen? According to Guy, he heard Heather screaming and he was later confronted by a criminal known as Mason Potts, who just escaped from the hospital, and claimed he kidnapped Heather. Wow, that's horrible. I feel sorry for Guy's girlfriend, but why would Mason escape while he's still treated? Well I don't know, but I'm afraid this is just the beginning. The police said that guy's house blew up by James and his criminal partner, then blew up other places like the Science Center, then another house, and the third house near downtown. That's terrible. Why didn't the police arrest James? They will, but they are concerned that James might commit another crime, or worse. You again? What do you want? Can't you see what I'm going through right now? Yes, I can see that. I see that you're going through misery after you got sacked from the hospital. Exactly. And ever since I first started working at the Heart Center Hospital, I always wanted to make this hospital better than ever before, but many people said to me that I'm a traitor and a crazy freak. This might be your control freak ways you're talking about. Look can you please just leave? Not after we talked. I think I figured out the truth about your CEO leadership. The truth is, Owen, 
is that you tried to unstabilize the Heart Center Hospital. You lashed out at Mia, firing Richard, and everything else. You deserve to get fired from this hospital, and I'm gonna tell the whole world what a stupid traitor you- Don't you dare. <laughs> you are not getting away from this, I'll make sure of that. I'm sorry. This was for your own good. Attention. I'm in charge of here now. One false move and I'll start shooting at all of you. Guys, what's going on? I don't know. James, what the heck are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> Oh my god. Call the police right now. James has taken everyone hostage. All right, listen. I want the person who killed Derek Spawn to step forward. James, listen. Neither of us here has killed Derek. Liar. You shot him to death and it was all your fault. All of it. We did not kill Derek. We swear we didn't do anything to him. She's right, James. Besides, we had nothing to do with their- Stop lying to me. One of you here was responsible, and now I'm gonna finish all of you off for it. If you don't tell me the truth, you will all deeply regret it. Ashley? Where are you? Oh my god, Ashley. No. Who did this to you? Please keep through. Ashley say something. Please. Don't leave me here. What? What? What happened? Ashley it's okay, I'm right here. I'm calling the ambulance. Hello, I need an ambulance. Ashley is unconscious at Owen's house and she's bleeding everywhere. The house where I'm at right now is located in downtown Castle Bush. Okay, thanks. Bye. Ashley, it's all right. The ambulance is on its way. Please stay with me. I mean, I just don't get it. Why would James hold everyone hostage in the cafe? Bubblegum is in there. Bemo, calm down. The police are working to get the hostages out and send James back to prison. If Bubblegum dies, we're really doomed. Attention. This is the police. We demand James Kemp to come out of the building with hands raised. I repeat, we demand James Kemp to come out of the building with hands raised. You heard them, James. The police are surrounding the building and there is no way how you can get away from it. Listen here, you've been turning against me since the very beginning, and you will all be sorry for what you're doing to me. Look, James, you don't understand. I understand. Derek is dead and one of you here will be punished for the crime you committed. The only crime you committed, James is that you kidnapped me in my house and then blew it up, and I had to get out of Declan's clutches just to tell Heather's friends about what's going on. Outrageous. You should have stayed and suffered in Declan's house for much longer, but you got away from us again. Therefore, one of you here will die, and anyone who interferes will be cursed. James, please. Don't do this. We don't want to die. Just please put- SHUT UP! I swear, if anybody here makes one false move, you're dead. I mean it. Shot! Hold your positions! <laughs>